Hi, sweet friends, welcome back. Today, we're jumping straight into our dining room refresh for spring. First off, we're actually taking a look back to a few weeks ago. So if you take a peek outside, you're going to see a bit of snow on the ground. But the first major change that I wanted to share with you is swapping out these vertical blinds for these gorgeous wooden Roman shades that I found from Amazon. These are the same ones that we installed in our master bedroom last spring, and we absolutely love them and wanted to repeat them for a similar look here in our dining room. As you're seeing, my sweet hubby Scott is doing all the measuring, drilling, and installation for these Roman shades. Real quick, before we go any further, I wanted to introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Amy, and I hope that you do enjoy your time here, and I would love if you would consider subscribing before you go. Instantly, I'm in love with this look, and the room feels more warm and cozy with the added texture. Now, when the shades are completely down, they do give a pretty good room darkening effect, but when you raise them all the way up, you can still allow all that beautiful light to be filtered into the room, while the rest of the shade is stacked nicely up under that top wooden skirt. Okay, so now that you're all caught up, here is how the room looks this morning. I've taken down some artwork, cleared off all the surfaces as usual, so that we can start decorating with a fresh blank canvas. Speaking of a canvas, we can now move on to the second project for the dining room refresh. Now this is a canvas that I picked up from Amazon and what I like to do which I've shared on my channel before is take this matte Mod Podge and paint it onto the surface of the canvas and what this does is take a plain very basic printed canvas up a notch to make it look like an authentic oil painting. Now I know this can be a little intimidating at first when you see all the glue but just be reassured that it will dry down to a matte finish and you will really get an authentic looking wall art piece and so we'll just let this dry and then move on to I think decorating our hutch first thing this morning starting from top to bottom I'm adding some more warm texture to this side of the room also by bringing in this French style basket which was from the Studio McGee line last year from Target and then a cutting board next you'll see I'm bringing in a lamp and this is a puck light that I like to use that is on a remote so if you don't have electricity in a spot in your home where you would like to still use a lamp you can grab a puck light like these that are battery operated and on a remote that way you get an easy solution and you don't have to call an electrician now I did notice that on camera the light actually flickers so I'm just gonna grab my remote and turn it off and tuck that away in one of the drawers in the hutch so that it is nice and convenient and then I'm gonna continue moving on with decorating the top to add a pop of greenery I'm adding this faux potted plant that I found from Target and then to fill in in front of the basket I'm adding two sizes of white pitchers and I think because they are a contrasting color they just really pop and bring your eye upwards as far as decorating the shelves of the hutch I'm going to keep it pretty traditional this spring by styling it with some plates bowls and goblets that I've laid out here I have some of the smaller pieces from my Linux pearlescence china along with the speckled stoneware that I picked up earlier at the beginning of this year from Hobby Lobby that I'm really loving and so I'm going to start with those salad plates first they fit very well on the smaller size of the shelves in our hutch then to just add pops of white I'll bring in some milk glass pieces and smaller bowls and then I'm also going to be bringing in some brown with those amber glass goblets and again I think this will pull in that moodiness that I'm loving this spring with any shelf styling, I think layering your pieces is super important. You want to have contrasting colors and also some that coordinate with each other. So these plates are both neutral but have different reflective properties that create a unique effect. Also, adding in pops of white is going to keep the space feeling light and airy, which is perfect for spring. 
Also, it's important to consider scale. You wouldn't want to use large items on these small shelves because it's just going to look awkward, but you don't want tons and tons of small items because then it could end up looking cluttered. So really, you just need to play around with your arrangement until you get it the way that you feel it looks best. It's a process of trial and error, and don't be afraid to step back, take a few hours to step away, to try to get more creative, and then come back, and sometimes fresh eyes will reveal a perfect arrangement. Another tip that I like to use when I'm decorating any type of shelf is to add items in various heights and also in different shapes. And I think by adding these brown goblets, they really just pull the whole look together. Plus they relate back to the trim that is around the solid plate. So all the items I chose today, I tried to coordinate them so that they play off one another nicely to create an intentional purposeful arrangement. Now for the bottom table service, I'm going to have a little bit more fun with the decor. I'm coming in with this vintage frame floral print that I picked up from Kirkland's. You also see that I made sure because it has a dark frame that I placed it to the right to contrast the placement of the dark French style basket that is on the left at the top of the hutch. I added several other pieces as you saw for a layered look, a mirror, a potted plant, a stack of dinner plates from our china set, and then this gorgeous vessel. This was a recent find from TJ Maxx. It says that it is handcrafted in Mexico and the price on it was fantastic at only $14.99. And I thought it just gave a old world kind of authentic looking pop that all of this arrangement needed. So as you can see, I have lots of different reflective properties and textures within this whole vignette. And I think all these different pieces work really well together. Now to fill in this bare area, I am going to bring in this faux Gipsophilia tree that was from Target last year. And I did put it in a pot to raise it up a bit to make it feel a little bit bigger. And the pot also was from TJ Maxx. Now we're going to move over to styling the accordion style hooks and I love to just switch out the decor and I'm adding some copper pieces along with that really pretty floral apron from the My Texas house line that I shared with you in my last haul. A round hanging sign that says this is where we belong. Another antique copper jug and to finish everything up I'm adding a decorative cutting board. To bring in yet another pop of warm color, I'm adding this absolutely gorgeous stool with the scalloped edge. I'm going to just angle it here in the corner and I may actually grab a real plant to set on it, but for right now, I thought it added a little extra something to an otherwise boring corner. Now let's move on to the tabletop surface. To decorate it, I am going to bring in the runner that I used in my Easter tablescape. And then to one side, I'm bringing in that gorgeous vessel that I found from Home Goods, along with another coordinating vessel that was from Hobby Lobby. For this tablescape idea, I wanted to create two focal points with the center kind of being open. And so for the opposite side to balance it out, I'm adding a large cutting board along with a large ribbed bowl that is also speckled. And then I'm adding a wooden antique piece along with some salt and pepper shakers for some functionality. And then inside of the large bowl, I'm coming in with these realistic artichokes that I found from Amazon. I love how this turned out. It's just a little bit different. It has a more modern feel. And I love that it looks great from both sides of the table as you walk around or are seated around the table. So now let's move on to the wall between the windows. I have a farmhouse bench here. My dream is to maybe have a fireplace here one day. And of course I've taken down the wall art. I wanna replace it just swap in something a little bit more spring-like but we do have to cover this outlet here that was once for our hanging tv so i'm thinking of adding a tobacco basket on the wall by using this type of hook and on the back i just used that 
Velcro command hook so that it'll be easy to remove. So I'm going to get that in place and then so that you don't see the outlet peeking between the holes of the tobacco basket, I'm going to add a really pretty spring wreath that I picked up several years ago from the store at home. And I really love how this turned out. It really just brightened up the space and added just a perfect spring touch. To the small little bench here, no one really ever sits here, so I like to just decorate it. And so I actually grabbed a couple pieces from our office. This gauzy blanket being one of them. I love it. It's from Walmart as well as this first throw pillow. And then I also stole the little pillow that that was on my office chair. I think it looks really good with the wreath and the canvas print that will be going on the wall here. So you'll definitely have to stay tuned. I will be doing a complete spring home tour and you'll be able to walk through with me and I'll show you all the spaces and what I've changed throughout our home this spring. All right, so now let's move over to the sideboard. I think for the spring, I'm going to go ahead and remove the buffet style lamps. They're perfectly fine, but you know me, I like to just show you guys different ways of doing things. So now let's grab that canvas print and get it inside a frame. If you remember at the beginning, we added all that Mod Podge to create that oil painting effect. And what I'm going to do is just place it over top of the frame that I got from Amazon and I actually still have my winter print in there and I'm going to keep it in there instead of taking it out. I'm just going to place this canvas right on top of the plexiglass and tuck it behind the frame and that seems to work perfectly fine. I absolutely love how this turned out. The vintage style of this and the frame coordinates really well with our wooden blinds. So to one side of the sideboard, I'm going to add two vessels. This first one being one that I just picked up from Kohl's. It's in their hand pot brand and it is so large and heavy. I love all the texture and the handle and the little spout on the top. Next, I'm going to combine it with a vintage looking vessel that I found from Hobby Lobby. Now it is very affordable with a high end look. Now I could just leave it as is, but I just love the look of bringing the artwork to life and out into your vignettes that are sitting right in front of it. So I'm grabbing a couple of stems. The first one is a greenery stem that I found from Amazon. And then I'm also going to be bringing in this hydrangea stem, I believe it is. And I'm going to combine those two for just a very large, impressive arrangement here in the larger vessel. I will do my best to link as many items I can down in the description box so you can easily click on them and shop these items for yourselves. And I'll do my best to find similar ones for items that I can't find links for. Now these are affiliated links, so I do get a small commission that is absolutely free to you, but it does help to support my channel. Now, as we move to the opposite side, I'm bringing in an antique find and I love to mix old and new. And this piece is one of my absolute favorites. I just love the craftsmanship in it. It is a solid wood piece and really a standalone decor piece. So I'm gonna place it there and then behind it, at the corner, I'm placing this candle stand, and I believe it was from Target. And then on top of the tray, not to cover too much of it, I will be bringing in a stack of salad plates and then finish it off by adding these battery powered flameless flickering candles to the candle stand. All right, friends, as we finish up here, that will pretty much wrap up today's decorating for spring in our dining room. I will leave you with these last and final shots of how the room turned out. I sure hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from and how you plan to decorate for late spring and maybe even summer. Do you have any upcoming vacation plans? We actually are preparing for an upcoming cruise and I would love to share our packing essentials or anything else that is related to that if you'd be interested. So definitely let me know. If you are new, please say hi and introduce yourself so that I can 
can properly welcome you here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you did enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. And as we end our time together, as always, let's go to God's word. Today, I'll be reading from Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you real soon in my next one. Take care, and God bless, friends. Bye!